When you look at the Formula E car from outside, its shape is purely dictated by aerodynamics, although some safety aspects do come into the shape of some of the bodywork. Now, because the car races solely around street circuits, it needs lots of downforce, and its aim isn't to have a very high top speed. Actually, the top speed is restricted to 225 kilometers per hour for safety reasons. So in order to produce this downforce, there's three key elements on the race car. You have the front wing, the rear wing, and the shaped underbody. When we look at the front wing, you can see that the actual shape of it is really dictated by these very large pods in front of the front tyres. These aren't aerodynamic devices, these are actually effectively fenders which prevent wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact for when the cars are racing around the streets. In between that you have a more conventional front wing which is adjustable um, when you're in the pits to change the downforce levels. At the back of the car you have uh, a fairly simple uh, rear wing and this provides the majority of the rear downforce. And then underneath the car, unseen, is you have a shaped underbody, uh, which is unlike series like Formula One, you actually have very large tunnels underneath the car. And these venturis create lots of downforce under the car with very little drag and very little disruption to the airflow behind it. So the old aerodynamics of the Formula E car is to encourage close racing by, by providing lots of grip and by not upsetting the airflow to the cars behind. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, to subscribe to this channel and to leave your comments below.